Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. Today our topic is about the moment of inertia. Uh, what are the moments of inertia of different objects and uh, specifically at uh, the moment of inertia of the solid object is the hollow object. Uh, is the hollow object, uh, hollow object is the solid object. So we are going to find and to know about the moment of inertia of these objects. Uh, as I draw these objects on the board, so now I will explain the moment of inertia of these objects is known to us uh, from the uh, by proving it, right? So uh, this is a rectangular object and it's a solid object. So I have to find the moment of inertia of this. Uh, for example, this is a solid object. So let's suppose this, I draw it by shading. This is a full solid object, right? And the, uh, so I can write it solid object, right? Solid rectangular beam. For example, I'm taking the solid rectangular beam. So the moment of inertia of this uh, beam will be, uh, if let's consider this is the B width of the beam, and this is the depth of the beam, H, height of the beam. So we can find the moment of inertia of this rectangular beam is B width height cube, cubic height, divided by 12, right? B H cube divided by 12. So this is the moment of inertia of the solid object, right? In case of the square, if these are the same, so if these are the same, B and H are the same, so we can write like this, of B4 divided by 12. This is for the square, right? If the object is square, and this is for the rectangular, rectangular object, right? But this is the object, is the whole solid object. So now I'm going to show you the hollow object in which uh, this is a hollow. This portion is shown as a hollow. So I can write it to uh, the hollow object, hollow rectangular beam. For example, I'm taking the moment of inertia of the hollow, hollow rectangular beam, right? So now let's consider the width of the beam of this section is B and the depth of this section is H, again H, right? So the moment of inertia of this uh, object will be b h cube divided by 12 right but now i have i have to subtract this hollow area to find the moment of inertia of this object so i will subtract minus the moment of inertia of this object and this i suppose is the b1 width is the b1 and the depth is the h1 right so i can write the b h cube 12 minus we can subtract this moment of inertia as b1 and to h1 cube divided by 12 right so this will be the moment of inertia of this object of this hollow object rectangular beam right and uh, the moment of inertia is all about the x-axis these are the moment of inertia about the x-axis right so these were the two moment of inertia now coming to the circle the whole circle and the fell solid right so I guess this is a whole solid circle object. So how to find this moment of inertia of this hollow circular beam? So section. So I will find the moment of inertia is if this is the diameter of the beam is D, right? I write as draw it by D. This is the diameter of the uh, circular beam. So I will find the uh, I can find the moment of inertia by pi by 64 and to D power 4. By this formula, we can get and to the to find the uh, moment of inertia of this whole uh, circular object, right? So I can find the moment of inertia of this circular object simply by putting the values of d diameter of the object and dividing by 64. We can get the moment of inertia. Now, how to find the moment of inertia of this object? It's hollow now again. This will be problematic to find the moment of inertia of the hollow beam, hollow circular beam, not a full solid. At the solid portion is shown in the outer while the inner is the whole object right so i can find the moment of inertia like similarly like the rectangular the d is the outer diameter and d not di is the inside diameter of the whole object so i can find the moment of inertia of this object simply by simply by pi by 64 and the previous case like the solid object n2 uh, the outside, the out, the outer diameter of the object, by subtracting the inner side diameter of the object, so we can get the moment of inertia of this ho hollow object. 
right? This was the way to find the moment of inertia of this hollow object. Just by subtracting the outside diameter from the inside, we can get into the the uh, moment of inertia of this whole object. Now, the one thing we remain with the uh, triangular object, how to find the moment of inertia of the triangular section beam. Sometimes we are coming with the triangular section beam. So, to find the moment of inertia, let's consider the width of the beam is B, and the height of the beam we consider it the H. So, we can find the moment of inertia of this triangular type of beam is BH cubed divided by 36. Uh, the triangular is same as BH cubed divided by 12, while this only differs by the denominator, there is a 12 and there is 36. So this is the same as this, by only difference of denominator, we got it here, 36. Right? So this was the uh, today lecture about to, uh, the, uh, the moment of inertia of the hollow as well as the solid object. So, and uh, if you have any question, uh, you can comment, we will get to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching our video.